Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, Hot Dogs and Fish. I'm Brian, this is Mark. This is our official COVID-19 and winter sucks video. Winter does suck, especially winter with COVID-19. Yeah. So, so we decided we've had enough snow. It snowed last night. Now it did melt off this morning, but it's still cold. We decided to hell with winter and COVID-19. We're gonna start summer, officially. So Brian and I love barbecue. I mean, we've traveled everywhere for barbecue. We've yeah. been from New York to Oklahoma and back in Texas and Memphis and the Carolinas, you name it, we've been there and every time we're on the road, we stop and get barbecue. Now, we're a little pissed about one thing. Every time we stop and get barbecue, somebody says, you gotta try our ribs. We slow smoke them for 12 to 14 hours. Well, we found out one thing. If somebody's cooking their ribs for 12 to 14 hours, they usually end up like cardboard on the top. Jerky on the ends. Jerky on the ends. <laughs> and we can't find good barbecue. Now we're not experts, but we've been playing this game for over 20 years, and we're gonna show you the easiest way to make baby back ribs. Not spares, not St. Louis, we're gonna be doing baby back today. They're a little higher up on the rib case, they got a little bit of that tenderloin meat in there, uh, or loin meat in there, so I love baby backs. There's no garbage on them, and we're gonna cook them front to back, top to bottom, in four hours or under, and they're gonna be juicy, bite through with no waste, and that's what we're gonna share with you today. So, let's get to it. All right guys, this is what we're gonna be cooking on today. This is a homemade pit smoker that Brian and I made. I like to cook over open or regular wood and charcoal, but uh, this is what we're gonna be cooking on today. It's cheap, it's easy, and it's fun to do. There's 44 cinder blocks stacked up in a, in a um, almost complete circle. Left this open to tend the fire. We've got a piece of expanded metal in there. Oh, probably two foot off the, off the coals. We're gonna be cooking low and slow. I've actually got a wood cover for here and a wood cover for here, so that tells you how low uh, we're going to be cooking. But we're going to go ahead and get a uh, fire started in here. I'm going to put a little uh, lighter fluid in here. We're going to get these coals going. Then we're going to go in and we're going to get the meat. And then we're going to come out once this is set and get it going. All right, we're gonna do this in three easy steps. The first step is, I'm gonna peel the membrane off the back of the ribs. Just grab your knife, get under this membrane right here a little bit. Just get it broke loose, like that. Once you get a little piece torn up, get yourself a paper towel so you can get a hold of this boy. Take that paper towel, pinch that membrane, work your thumb in underneath it like that. And look at this. And just start peeling that membrane. See that? We don't want to eat that. That stuff's no good. That keeps the seasonings from getting in. There, one membrane's off. I'm going to do the same to the other three and then we'll season. All right, it's time for the second step. We're going to season these bad boys up. We get our seasoning from a local uh, guy in South Dayton, New York. We like supporting our local businesses and they make a really good rub for these ribs. So let's get these bad boys seasoned up. Oh my lord, I can already smell that. It's, it is perfect. All right, let's get the other side. Add a little up there a little bit. Sorry. Right. A little extra is good for you. That's right, you can't hurt it, man. This is Backyard Fun Barbecue, the easy way. Oh my lord. That stuff smells so good already, dude. That smells great. <laughs> hey, let's go put them on the fire. That's right. All right, guys, we're outside. We're at the pit. The fire's ready to go here. We're going to uh, reach down. I'm going to throw one block of wood up on top of that pile of coals that we got started. We're going to slap our ribs in there. I'm going to cover the end, cover the top, and then we're just going to adjust the heat from there. And in uh, four hours or less, we're going to be eating ribs. All right, our piece of wood starting to smoke. We're going to lay the ribs right in here, away from. Oh man, film that. Oh. 
three second rule applies is backyard barbecue, guys. Luckily, it fell on my foot. <laughs> oh yeah, your foot's clean. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, hey, the good thing is, yeah, that's parsley on there, not grass clippings. All right, we gotta cover this up so it doesn't get too hot. <laughs> Well, you said it yourself. We're not professionals. <laughs> no, we're not, but we know how to cook and make good tasting food. A little grass clip. I mean, cows and woodchucks and everything else. You grass every day. My dog eats grass. It ain't the first time I eat something fell on the floor. That's right. Three second rule applies in backyard barbecue. All right, that's our lid, even though it's wood. We throw these on there, throw that on there, just to hold it down, keep it sealed up. We regulate the heat with this, uh, believe it or not, it's a paint can lid with a hole under here, and that's how I regulate my heat and smoke. So now it's just a matter of time. We'll, we got a gauge on each end. Our food's over here away from the fire. We'll just keep an eye on the heat and we're cooking. Now what you guys didn't see was when those ribs went on, Mark came back in and pulled something else out. We got ourselves some kibasa right here. Cause you gotta have something to eat while you're waiting for the food. Yeah. Four hours is too long to wait for the ribs. Yeah, it seems I have not ate today. I'm freaking starving. <laughs> let me know how that is. Oh, I'm gonna let you know. It's freaking hot. Is it magma? Wow. Mm. A little smoke on you over there? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Just came off the smoker. I my ass on fire. <laughs> wow, it's very good. <laughs> All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is we're two hours in. We're gonna take the lid off, and I made a quick baste. A cup of water, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and some more of that same rub that I put on the ribs. Just mix them up. I'm gonna go in and hit them to keep them from drying out. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this right on the ends. Everybody's dried out. We're not. Still soft. Ooh, hot though. Brown sugar water with more of that rub. That's all it is. We are on the downhill stretch of this now. All right. See you soon. All right, let me just... What are you doing? Moving back here. Mm. See the bones are starting to stick out? Yep. Yeah, baby. All right, guys, now. My I've tried them all, they're all good, but this seems to be my favorite. Brian really likes it too. Sweet Baby Ray's original. And I'm gonna get this ready. Now I, I, I doctored up just a little bit. So we got three racks, let's do it. I just put the original in there. Then I throw two, two tablespoons of brown sugar in there with it because I like it a little sweeter. I like a sweet rib. And then we're gonna add just a little bit more rub to it. We're gonna put this on it. Oh, another hour, we'll put this on it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little more rub across the top of the rib just to dust it, and then we'll have our sweet and heat. Leave that spoon right in there. What? You eat it like breakfast cereal. <laughs> All right, guys. They're just about done. We're gonna sauce them up. Get them nice and gooey gooey. Look at this. Still nice and soft on the ends. I don't care about the ends. I want you to paint me that barbecue <laughs> sauce. <right now. laughs> oh, baby. These will be good. Would it be weird if you bathed me? 
Yeah. I don't. Not in barbecue sauce. That's yeah. just good. That ain't weird. Only for you, soap and water. <laughs> yeah. No soap and water. So I'm gonna put a nice heavy load on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check. Uh, I'm gonna check for tenderness right now. Ouch. Probably shouldn't carry a pointed thermometer in your pocket. Not quite there yet. Ooh, that's getting close. That's like butter. I'll bet you that's closer to 200. How good am I? I can tell just by the texture of it. So you're saying 200 is a number? 200 is where you want to be. Yeah, we're real close. Let that barbecue set up so I can eat it. Yeah, we, uh, whoa. We're there. We need uh, half an hour to let that set up. So I'm going to just, now, we're going to just pull these away from the heat, as far as we can get away from the heat, because they're essentially done. Throw the lid back on this, and let that sauce set up. In a half an hour, we'll be tasting. All right, guys, we're about three hours and 15 minutes, three and a half hours, and I said it'd be four hours and under. They're ready. I just came out and checked one, dusted them, and uh, just trying to move it, it tore right in half. So um, we're gonna pull them out, we're gonna go ahead and taste them. Ugh. Oh. It's not ash flying around your face. No, it's stinking snow. It's all right, it's summertime. It's summertime. Summertime in Western New York means snow. This food right here says it's summertime. Yes. Uh, we're just gonna break them in half. You don't need to make singles. That's what I'm thinking. All right, guys, I just cut that one in half. Look at this. Look at the juice in that. Test that end piece. Look at the juice in it. Look at it glistening. Right off the end. Like I said, three and a half hours. You can do that on any charcoal pit. You can do it on a Weber kettle grill. You could do it in your gas grill if you just set them off to the side and put a smoke box in. There's a million ways to do it, but that's quick, fast, and easy. Three steps, and now we're gonna mow down on these things. And uh, we're watching YouTube videos and, and looking at fishing stuff and setting our schedule. So, anyways, let's uh, let's test one of these things. I was hoping. I'm not afraid to get burned. I am. Wow. I don't like that. Just... Stupid. I can't do it, man. They're just too hot. Juicy, tender, sweet, little heat, little smoke. It's everything I got. Can... What? Oh my God! Mm. <laughs> anyway. mm. If you don't like this, you wear your underwear too tight. That's all I got. Oh yeah. <laughs> You just got your underwear pulled up too far. And this ain't, this is barbecue, not grilling. This is barbecue. Grilling is gas, steak, right. burgers, hot dogs. This is barbecue. Offset, slow, little smoke. Cook until it's juicy and tender. We accomplished that. 
Yes, we did. Let's there you go, guys. Three steps. Simple and easy. Um, everybody stay safe out there in this crazy world right now. This is the best way we knew how to cope with it. Everybody knows we like to eat, and we really like barbecue, but we're going to eat these ribs. You guys stay safe. Enjoy the hunting and fishing as soon as you can get out there. And as soon as we can, we'll be out there uh, hunting and fishing, and, and we'll bring another video to you soon. And uh, I don't know. Anything else? That's it. Let's move on to the next, next video. Hey, Bigger, better things. Like, subscribe. Please tell all your friends about our videos. We're going to keep bringing things. And please, then, in the comments down below, put something in there you want to see us catch, cook, clean, whatever you want us please. to do, we'll do as long as it's within reason. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. See you later, guys. Let's eat this stuff here. Here, you taste like that. All right. I'll eat that whole rack. I'll eat this one.